Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. I'm a motion designer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add smoother slow motion effects to your footage inside Premiere Pro. Slow motion can be used to add more detail to an action or movement. It can be used to add a more romantic or suspenseful aura to stress a moment in time, or very often it can be used to just make your B-roll look more cinematic. Slow motion is typically achieved through recording your footage at a high frame rate and playing it back at a lower frame rate. Now this sequence in this timeline is set to 25 frames per second and we have a clip to add to it, and that was recorded at 50 frames per second, which we can see in the project panel. If we drag that into our timeline and drop it, we are given a warning message. This clip does not match the sequence's settings. Change the sequence to match the clip settings. In this case, we want to keep existing settings because we want this to stay at 25 frames per second. Now this is playing back at normal speed but our clip is recorded at 50 frames per second. So it has twice as many frames as are visible in this 25 frames per second sequence. So we can slow it down by half to see it in slow motion. So with that clip selected, let's right click, choose speed duration and change the speed from 100% to 50% and hit OK. Now our clip gets twice as long and if we play it back, that is in slow motion. But what if we want to slow it down even further? We can do that by right clicking, again going to speed duration and changing it from 50% to 25% and hitting OK. It doubles in length again, but if we play it back this time, it is slower, but something feels a little off. It's a little choppy or steppy. And if we go one frame forward by clicking this arrow, we can see what's happening. It's playing every frame twice. So it's just stretching our clip out and not adding any new information. Now this gets even more obvious at a lower speed. So let's harp it again. This time, let's take it to 12.5%, which is half of 25 and hit OK. Again, it doubles in length, but now it's really obvious. Now every frame is shown four times and this just doesn't look smooth. But Premiere has a really neat trick to make this look much smoother. If we go to speed slash duration again, we can change our time interpolation. At the moment, it's on frame sampling. So it's just duplicating frames to slow down the footage, but we can change that to optical flow. So let's select that and hit OK. Now, when we play it back, we see no change at all. And that is because we need to re-render this sequence. So with our clip selected, let's go up to sequence and choose render selection. And now Premiere is gonna do some thinking. What it is doing is essentially creating new frames to replace those repeated frames. Getting a great result will depend on your original footage. If you have lots of elements being quickly hidden and revealed, that is harder for Premiere to guess what is going on in those in-between frames. So there will be some artifacts in that case, but this should work fine on our footage. Now look how smooth that is. Most of these frames have been interpolated by Premiere. They've been created and this just looks great. And we can also create a more dynamic speed ramp. To do that, I am going to delete this clip, drag that same clip in again and keep existing settings. Now, instead of just slowing it down by a certain amount, we're gonna select our clip and adjust its time remapping over here in the effects control panel. Let's add a keyframe close to the start. And then a little bit further on, let's add another keyframe. Now we want a gradual ramp up. So let's extend this keyframes a little bit, which will create some nice Bezier handles. And let's toggle down our speed arrow here. So we get a nice graph of its speed. Now we are going to be adjusting this number here. So we want it to start at 100%, slow down in the middle, and then ramp back up to 100%. To do that, let's move our playhead to the middle of this area. And with our cursor, select and drag that down from 100% until this number is reduced. Let's go all the way to just under 20% and release. We still need to change its frame interpolation. So let's actually go back into speed duration and choose interpolation optical flow. Hit OK and let's render that selection. Now, if we play it back, we can see it starts at 100% and then slows down. It ramps into playing at 13%. And then it ramps up and back to 100% speed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've learned how to slow down your footage naturally using optical flow and how to make a dynamic speed ramp. Please check out the rest of this series all about effects in Adobe Premiere Pro.